Hey, welcome to another episode. This one is in Galaxy 20. I believe the name of it is uh, Doctinora. Doctinora. Galaxy 20. And let me show you the glyphs for this system. All right, the glyphs are Diplo, Sunrise, Moon, Hexagon, Sunrise, Boat, Galaxy, Galaxy, Triangles, Face, TP, Balloon. And uh, I heard about this from Haley, um, Haley Malo in the No Man's Sky Explorers Facebook group. He mentioned a system that had two infested planets. I think he said one of them had white grass. This is probably the one with white grass. This is his, I believe it's his base that I'm on here. I did notice he didn't really put anything inside of his base yet. Um, let's see if I could find his base computer. Okay, he is Hale O594. Okay, and his name's Haley Malo in um in the Facebook group. So um since he advertised this in his Facebook group, I don't think he'd mind uh me giving his player's name. Now unfortunately I don't even see a uh, teleport here. So I'm going to have to manually fly to the next base of his. Okay, now this is the one that looks more interesting to me. Because it's a dissonant planet. In addition to being the infested, uh, like an infested paradise. It says Xeno Colony, actually. So let's just look at the planets in this system. You got a forsaken planet, a decaying nuclear planet, a hyperborean planet, a frothing planet, a xeno colony, and a xeno colony. So you got two xeno colony planets in one system. That is rare, and one of them being a dissonant planet makes it additionally rare. Oh, and I should show you the galaxy you can see in the upper left is Dr. Noira, however you pronounce that. That's Galaxy 20. Color on the ship landing thing. A lot of times that seems to indicate that the planet has a specific color, which does make the planet more interesting, I think. Okay, this space is not too developed either. No real decorations. I do notice it looks like he uses the stone and the wood uh, pretty nicely. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, let's make a base on this planet and explore a little bit. We'll have to get off of his base area, though. All right, let's try this one. So far, four inverted mirrors in a row.
Yes, we got an echolocator. That's what we wanted. Echo locator. E. Oh, by the way, the coordinates are negative 24, negative 17, 26. It is, I gave you the glyphs, and the planet is Chalantora. An A-class mineral deposit. Let's check out the hot spot. A class mineral. Salt, okay. Well, I don't have a salt spot, so that would be all right. All right, I like to use three points to put my base location in a triangle. So we'll use the save beacon for the harmonic camp. We will use the electric hot spot and the mineral deposit. We'll put the base roughly in the middle of the triangle. Yep, the storms are gravitational anomalies. Okay, I'm roughly equidistant, roughly 200 or less units from each of the three main locations. So now we will put our base um, here. We'll use um, purple and blue and stone for this. a C class. Yeah, not too impressed. I'll probably salve, uh, bring this to the space station to get uh, units for it.
but it does look kind of cool. All right, well, that's the system. I showed you um, that guy's bases who discovered the system. We looked at a couple of the planets and uh, you saw where I planted the base. In the next episode, I'm going to put together the base and then I'm going to go back to working on the expanding the base um, quest. Thank you for watching.